morning voice. <coughs> Greatly morning voice. Hey everybody, it's Rachel. Um, and this week I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit more simpler because I recently was able to acquire some markers. Now they're not Copic markers, but they are a knockoff brand. They're Touch 5. I have not used these types of markers before. But I am very excited to actually have a pack and start using these. I want to start coloring comic book type pages and stuff with them. I've seen other people who've gotten these markers make charts um, just because they say that the color doesn't match and I totally agree with them because there's so many of these that have very similar colors on the tips but they do not look the same when you put them on paper. So if you are getting markers and you didn't know to make a chart, do it because that way you could actually see how they look on the paper. And it was fun. Just in making this chart, I was kind of like, ooh, ooh, can I start coloring yet? I mean, it was just like, oh, these, these look fun. They look fantastic. So these ones are the raw chisel nib and then it's got the fine nib on the other. Went on ahead and drew a picture and now I'm just going to apply color to it and we'll see how it looks. It turned out great. I really, 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 really like the way that it looks. Um, there's a couple things that I'm still not used to, like the color change from, it's a little bit harsher than I would like it to be. I've, I've seen people like blend it perfectly and it's just like, how did you do that? I mean, it's fantastic. So there's still a lot that I have to learn with these markers before I can be like, ooh, well, yes, look, but mm, I know what I'm doing. So don't touch that. Cats. I mean, I live with cats. They're going to do things. I see you. I know and I love you. I don't know. Like, this is my first time using these markers. So I had a lot of fun. I really like the way it turned out. I had a blast. I had a lot of fun with these markers and I see why people get them a lot. I would highly recommend, I see you, I know. Highly recommend getting into the markers like these and I know that it's really hard to get Copic markers right now, but hey, the, the Touch 5 is really good second brand. I would totally recommend it. This was the lifesaver with the, like you, you, you actually know what it is, what color you're actually picking up and there's no second guessing so I would Definitely, definitely, if you get these markers or any kind of marker set, make a chart so that way you see what it is you're working with, you know exactly what color to get. Thanks for joining me in today's video, guys. If you'd like to see more of my artwork, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you along for other adventures. If you want to see all of my art pieces as they go on, go ahead and click the link in the description. That'll take you right to my Facebook page, and there you'll see all the uploads that happen as they happen. And speaking of Facebook, 
on the month of May 2017, I am doing a Prince giveaway. Go ahead, click the link, like the page, share the post, and your name will be a part of a Prince giveaway where I will be drawing a winner on the 31st of May, and that person is going to get a free print of their choice. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. This is Rachel Salk, and I will see you next week.